experimental camera angle. Let's hope it doesn't explode. Somebody's gonna be really mad at me if I break the $300 camera. <laughs> Headed from uh, Missoula, Montana, headed down to uh, Lewis, Lewiston. It's supposed to be a pretty uh, uh, noteworthy road, mainly because of signs like this. Winding road next 99 miles. There can't be too many of those, like, you know, in the country. We've been driving on uh, flat roads for the last 2,000 miles. I'm ready for it. We're not going to be seeing a lot of Georgia in this trip. Nope, so far behind. That's absolutely right. So we've decided that the United States is impervious to invasion. <laughs> I mean, with these mountains, it's like Afghanistan. And I'm going to make that comparison because I haven't been there and I know exactly what it's like. <laughs> but uh, you can see it's gorgeous. Yeah, but we're bigger than them. We're also way bigger than Afghanistan. Ian doesn't get out much. Yeah. He decided he wanted to run up on top of those rocks. Very, very sneaky. Where has Ian gone? Probably stopping to take a breather or something, maybe have a snack. People I would not like to be stuck on a deserted island with. Ian Sheely. A guy with all of your food, his food couple animals drink all the water on the first day. Least efficient metabolism on the planet. There he is. He got up on top of the rocks. Let's see. There he is. We have found an acceptable camping site behind what appears to be a hospital that's under construction on a hill. I think it's a plastic surgery office. Yeah. I mean, we're in an empty parking lot that's under, of a building that's under construction. So we're thinking that tomorrow morning, if the surgeons don't come through, the construction crew will. But by then... The surgeons will have their Bluetooth headsets in, and their Maseratis. Listening to, I don't know, Steely Dan on, the, on their way into work. <laughs> and probably won't recognize us. There's like a little barbed wire fence and the grass should hide us. So they'll see two mysterious bikes with no riders. Here we are, it's about 7.30 the next morning. We always have to show you our campsites the next day because you can never see it. Where are we? Yet? And if you're wondering, I did sleep in these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like someone forgot to turn their fuel off. <laughs> So we're out here in uh, lovely eastern Washington. We uh, Beautiful Washington. Yeah, it's been about 100 miles, so we're looking for gas and we saw a sign. So we're doing a little loop. And fortunately, you know, I caught George just in time yeah. to uh, point out that he has been driving the tent for the last 10 miles. We don't really know how long, but considering the damage, <laughs> it might be the first. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. It's gonna take a lot of tape. Oh wow, just... So should we even bring this with us or should we sacrifice it to Washington?